Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hanksters.com. We are an internet-based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for 30, 50, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in the air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, uh, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next? Once you decide on your classic ride, where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you wanna bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collector car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight-year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short-term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blowing cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangster's Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. Another vehicle we have a fair amount of success with here in Daytona is the Mercury Cougar. And today we have a 1967. It's not an XR7 car, it is a base model, uh, but highly equipped and very uh, nice vehicle. So let's check it out. On the air cleaner is a 289 badge. That is because it is a 289. Uh, it's also a period correct 289. It is a 67 289 block, so that's a good thing. Buried back here, you can barely see it because it's black and it's buried underneath the cowl pretty much, is your power brake booster, so the car does have power brakes. It also makes it difficult to see our uh, power steering reservoir, which is down here um, on the driver's side front of the block. And the reason it's difficult to see is because of this big bulky contraption, which is your blue, red, high, low AC compressor. So the car does have air conditioning. 289, period correct, power steering, power brakes, AC. White car, center console, automatic. Uh, let's start out with the paint. Uh, paint is nice all the way around the car. Uh, top of the hood, top of the fenders, real nice uniform color, uniform clear. Um, no issues whatsoever up top in the cowl area, in the hood, in the fenders, none of that. Uh, hideaway headlights, and they do function. So we'll show you uh, during this video presentation about that. Uh, chrome on the front bumper in real nice condition. Um, it has a little bit of a fade to it, a texture to it, but uh, no um, peeling, no rust, no patina, no blisters, uh, bumper bolts are good, all that stuff. Uh, in your lower valance in the front there you have your turn signal indicators and it's painted white and everything down there is also in good condition. How about we take a look at our wheels and tires? Yes, they are brand new. Brand new wheels, brand new tires. We put those on the vehicle. Uh, it does have a blue pinstripe. You'll see here in a couple of moments that the interior of the car is blue. So uh, blue pinstripe that uh, starts out on the nose of the vehicle, uh, continues on the fender, door, and then of course the rear quarter. And uh, that's all in good shape as well. Um, taking a look at the paint on the front fender, your uh, paint, both high and low, in nice condition. You can see that there's no issues here up front. And there's no issues here down low behind the uh, wheel on the driver's side front of the vehicle. Let's step up here and take a look at the uh, front windshield. Uh, Clarity is good on the front windshield. Uh, no issues. Um, as far as cracks, chips, blemishes, anything like that, real nice clarity out of the front windshield. Let's jump up here for a moment to the roof, the roof of the car. Uh, real nice uniform color, uniform clear, no spider webbing, no cracking, blistering, bubbling, anything else that goes along with uh, bad paint or subpar paint. This uh, paint on the car is really nice. So is the door fitment. So you have this big protrusion here on your rear quarter, your driver door, and your front fender. That is your body line accent. Um, and everything lines up real nice. The fender, the door, the uh, rear quarter, everything's real nice. Rocker panels real nice down there. No uh, paint issues to speak of. And it's the same with the bottom of the quarter, the door, and the fender. The glass clarity on the car, the vent window, the driver door glass, the rear quarter glass, all real nice. The uh, chrome molding here that encompasses the front uh, driver's window in nice condition. Let's pop the door and take a look at the interior of this car. Uh, starting with the door panel, you can see your courtesy lights illuminating in the driver door when I open that up. Uh, armrest is in nice shape. Door panel itself is in nice shape. Uh, take a look in the back seat real fast. Front and rear seat belts in the car. A real nice uh, interior in the vehicle. Uh, the uh, 
Seats are in real nice condition. Front and rear seat belts. Uh, carpeting in the car is in nice shape. Floor mats are brand new. Uh, front seat belts as well, of course. Does have a couple little, uh, not rips, I guess, just like little, it's not torn through. I don't know what they are, but imperfections in the front seat. Same thing with the back here. See how it's a little cracked right there? It's not terrible, but it is there, so I'll point that out. Uh, the Cougar floor mat in the front, brand new. Carpeting underneath the floor mat, no issues. Uh, center console's in nice shape. It is the original steering wheel in the car. Nice interior. We'll check out the passenger side here also shortly. Um, rear quarter low, both in front of and behind the uh, rear wheel. Nice condition. Uh, no history on the car in terms of, you know, when the car was painted, um, you know, when the motor might have been rebuilt, tranny might have been rebuilt, anything like that. Anything we have like that, we will disclose in our video. Does have some Pioneer 6x9s. We'll figure out on the test drive if those work or not. Uh, your material, be it uh, vinyl there on your hat rack, speaker shelf area, um, no issues there. Warping, heavy discoloration, none of that going on. Top of the uh, rear quarter here, deck lid, uh, nice uniform color, nice uniform clear, no issues there. Chrome on the rear bumper, also very nice. Uh, we'll also show you the uh, sequential turn signals on the car, which do function. Uh, we'll show you that during our exhaust run. Let's uh, jump in the trunk real fast. Uh, does have a spare. It looks like a uh, bias spare, <laughs> so uh, you know if you want to use it, you might want to consider uh, taking a look at um, you know what uh, the age and condition is of the car. This is just like some miscellaneous parts receipts or whatnot. Um, nothing in there of significant. You know some different receipts for parts. Um, nothing of significance in terms of paint, motor, or um, transmission. The uh, this is always tricky to pull these trunk mats without pulling the brake lights out. Um, the bottom of, oh, bottom of the car, um, their trunk pan, uh, the uh, gas tank, all in, all in good condition. No issues going on there. Okay, close it. Passenger side. Uh, the body lines on this car are really nice. Hopefully you can see from this angle how the door closes nicely to the front fender and to the rear quarter. Uh, your Cougar emblems are in nice shape on both sides. Uh, the uh, rear quarter on the uh, passenger side just as nice as the driver's side. No paint or condition issues whatsoever. Uh, look at your uh, door gaps here, how nice they are. Uniform all the way from the top to the bottom. Uh, your pin striping there on the uh, Passenger side just as nice as it was on the driver's side. All your glass clarity, vent window glass, door glass, quarter window glass, uh, really in nice condition on this car. Take a look in the uh, passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, once again, your courtesy lights illuminate in the passenger side door. Door panels in nice shape. Uh, floor mats in nice condition. Your uh, seats, center console, all in nice shape. Pretty good looking car, interior and exterior. Uh, the driver door will pan low on that. Rear, um, rear quarter, I was gonna say rear quarter. Lower rocker will pan low there as well. And then also in front of the uh, passenger side door there is low on the front fender. And then of course around the uh, passenger side front tire wheel area. Uh, no paint issues on this car really to speak of whatsoever. Uh, pretty nice paint. Uh, once again, the uh, hideaway headlights work, sequential turn signals work, the AC works, brand new wheels, brand new tires, 67 Cougar, period correct 289, power steering, power brakes. Whew. Okay, let's put it in the air and we'll do an undercarriage presentation and then shortly after that we'll take it on the drive and show you how the vehicle performs. Underneath our 1967 Mercury Cougar, you're going to have drum brakes on all four wheels. You can get a good shot of the front of the motor here, uh, the front seal, nice and dry. The uh, oil pan, 
nice and dry, both driver and passenger side. Continuing on back through the vehicle, let's take a look next at our tranny pan. That's nice and dry all the way around. Uh, frame rails on the car in good shape. The exhaust, you have dual exhaust manifolds come down into an H-pipe and continue back into duals with dual mufflers. We'll show you just momentarily here. Uh, floor pans in the car look to be in pretty good shape. They start up here on the driver's side, all one solid piece all the way back. And then the same goes for the passenger side. Start here, goes all the way back. It does look like somebody has uh, sectioned a portion in right here, um, but nonetheless, it was done pretty, uh, pretty well. Uh, there has been a patch in the pan right here, so if you're uh, not all about floor pan patches, then you're going to pass on this one. But like I said, nicely done, nice and solid, no issues. Uh, the mufflers are in good shape, no rust holes, no rot holes, anything like that. The entire exhaust system is that way. Um, very nice uh, welds on the uh, sections of uh, where the uh, adjoin the pipes to the mufflers. Um, your area where your shocks are at, where your back seat area will meet your trunk pan, all nice and solid there. No uh, holes, rust, or rot issues there. Your frame rails in good shape. Hopefully, you can see up there with the uh, shadows that are cast. But uh, nice frame rails all the way back here to the uh, rear bumper. There's your uh, passenger side. We'll take a look here at the driver's side as well. Gas tank appears to be newer in the car. And then your uh, pipes come in a slight turn down there just underneath the uh, lower valance on the vehicle. Uh, get a look at your uh, tread depth here. Um, like I told you, the BFGs are brand new. Uh, so, of course, plenty of tread left. And um, brand new wheels, brand new tires. Let's set our 1967. Uh, Cougar down on the ground. We'll take it on the test drive and show you how the vehicle runs out. Inside of our 67 Cougar, uh, let's start with the wipers. Those function. Uh, driver side turn signal indicator does not work on the inside. Uh, it does work on the outside. We already showed you that. It does work on the passenger side. Uh, the clock does not work. We do not fix clocks. And the radio does not work. We don't fix radios. So those two items will not be working. Horn functions. Um, AC. Let's do that. And believe it or not, it's blowing friggin' ice cold. Awesome. We don't need that as much today as we normally do because we are about, I don't know, middle 70s right now, so it's fairly decent uh, outside. The fuel gauge does function. We put gas in it, and uh, we normally put 30 to 40 bucks in our vehicles, and uh, this stopped at $26 and some change, so it is full. Uh, and the temp will keep an eye on on the test drive. This car rides like you're on air. It's, it's really quite uh, remarkable. And um, listen to it idle. I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it's idling real nice, rides real nice. Uh, headliner in the car is in real nice condition. Let's take it on the drive, see how it runs. The car runs amazing. Uh, speedo is functioning. Response on the wheel is really really good uh, there's zero vibrations whatsoever in the car uh, in terms of your uh, engine vibration training vibration tire vibration any kind of pull to the left or to the right uh, none of that going on with this car response on the throttle is real nice the guy was just looking it's a good looking car temps coming up by the way So we will uh, be stopping here up at the traffic light. We'll see how the brakes check out, and then we'll uh, run it through the gears here as we take the uh, right-hand turn, get it up to you know 
50, 55, 60 miles an hour until I run on a road like I normally do. But, uh, so we have a red light. Start slowing down a little bit. Brakes perform awesome, look at that. Stops the car like they should. Perfectly straight. No pulls, no vibrations. Not stalling out, not spitting, not sputtering, not overheating. Oh, tranny shifts perfect. We're in third now, there's 60, 65. Very nice car. Runs absolutely amazing. There's 60 miles an hour. Steering wheel is nice and centered. Once again, no alignment issues up front, no tire vibration. Um, running nice and cool. These um, Cougars, Mustangs of this era, you know, 64, 5, 6, 7, you know, the coupes. 289s and 302s, pretty simplistic. Barely any time there's, you know, no issues with them. Uh, at all uh, very uh, strong solid uh, bulletproof motors real real nice uh, engines Ford put out and this car's turnkey great paint new tires new wheels rides real nice AC blows cold power steering power brakes everything's working like it should maybe you might want to get yourself a radio so you can listen to tunes but uh, look we're idling nicely not stalling out no rough vibration no rough no rough idle. Good stuff. 67 Cougar. Steering brakes and air. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this 67 Cougar today along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our Cougar includes shipping in the lower 40 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end, internal components, major mechanical breakdowns. It doesn't cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, radios, horns, and anything else you can think of that is not part of the drivetrain. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? Within reason, it most certainly is. The negotiated price, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. You don't have to ask that question. You don't have to beg. You don't have to say, oh, come on, because it's not going to happen. But at full retail price, it can, and it will. Also at full retail, uh, we handle all the shipping logistics. We check into the driver, make sure they're good to go. We uh, set up the pickup. We arrange the delivery. We track the progress of the shipping of the car. We pay the driver. At a negotiated cost, you'll handle all that legwork on your own. Maybe you have your own trailer, you want to come trailer to car home, you can do that. I have no issue with that whatsoever. And of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you want to drive this 67 Cougar home, you can most certainly do that with ice cold air conditioning. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach. And once again, our website is hangsters.com. Check us out. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Yes, we do export these classic vehicles as well, and we can handle that whole process for you from start to finish. Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.